DJ Snyder from Mingle Media TV, and we're at the season two premiere of Miss Benet. You can't hear you say you just got back from Florida. No, no, I said I was born in Florida. The best friend finally called that thing to us. You know, that's what I say. You got to show all those folks out there that are watching from around the country that it really does get cold here in Los Angeles. Well, we're really wet. That's what I said over there. We could be in Minneapolis like this one, right? Um, it's usually beautiful. Like yesterday, though, it was 90 degrees, and today it's like 40, so we are a little nippy. So, for us, anyway, it's not unbelievable the weather we have. I couldn't believe it. I mean, like, what the heck? It's like, one minute it's like 40, and the next minute it's like 95 degrees, and we're suffocating in the heat. So, we've already passed the weight of summer clothes. Most of us have, but you're, you're wearing wool tonight because it's a little chilly. Tell me about the psychiatrist that you play in the Senate. I, I think she's very cynical, but at the same time, she knows how to say the right thing to help the kids out. So she is sort of a grounding person to make them look at what they're which is why, you know, having never been and um, not really studied it, I, I'm hoping that I am listening properly and answering the questions properly. I think this day and age with our. Um, I'm going to say this with all the bullying and the things that go on, that it's so important to have. And I think that um, our writers have given me a good grounding to talk to them, to make them look at themselves and things. I mean, it is teenage angst, and um, I wouldn't want to go through that again. So if I was that young again, I, then I would probably have to do something about it. But it's, um, I think it's good they have it. And their parents feel like they need to talk to somebody, so that's a good thing to say. And so it sounds like this role has kind of opened up um, – this whole field for you a little bit. You're thinking like a psychiatrist, or, or I, I think I've, I've always said that I was bullied. Um, I um, uh, always been the fat kid, the, you know, fat girl, two by four, all that kind of stuff. And I think the biggest mistake that any parent can say to a child is that sticks and stones will break your bones, but names will never hurt. But that's the biggest lie a parent can say because names hurt. And I think sometimes parents don't realize that when they say, "Oh, that was stupid," you're just being stupid. You're stupid. You know, and that's all they hear, stupid, stupid, but so it's like so important, I think, that people think about what comes out of their mouths because it's the negativity that unfortunately we all hear. Um, you know, so very crazy. All right. Well, you know what? I really appreciate what you have to say on that, on that subject. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, do we get a little preview of what happens in season two? No, I can't give you a quick You know what I'm going to wait and see. But I can tell you this by the time that you leave after preview you two, you're going to be going, oh, 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 where is three? Can you talk? When am I going to get to see three? Because we're down to just. I'm going to Oh, my goodness. It's so good. It's so good. At teenage age, it's great. Right. It's, uh, it's, I mean, and it's facing a lot of the things that we go through. So. Look at that. Yes, I get to see them like that. I can't tell you how to do it. I'll take it and yell it and talk to them. I mean, I don't want to take them all your time. 